I'm Jessica Gaudete. This is your Tuesday evening KRQE.com webcast. We start with Mark Ronchetti. We are two for two in storms this week, and we'll continue to see a good chance at getting storms throughout the rest of the week. Most of the storms tonight focus central and western sections as we have a little weather disturbance sitting to our west. will help enhance some of these storms throughout the night. A cold front comes into the northeast throughout the day tomorrow. That will help to fire some storms northeast and into central sections. We'll keep the scattered storms going into tomorrow and probably Thursday as well throughout the weekend. High pressure moves back to our east. That opens the door once again for scattered to numerous storms thanks to the monsoon flow. Albuquerque police released the 911 call from a murder at a university area 711 last week. Police say three men pulled up to the store. One went inside while another held up a van outside. While the clerk described that robbery to a 911 dispatcher, shots rang out inside the store. It kind of looked like a Pontiac vibe, but I know it wasn't a Pontiac, but it was that style of vehicle. What? What's going on? Stay on the line with me. 36-year-old veteran and father Chad Mercer was shot in the neck. Police say 22-year-old Eloy Aguilad was the man inside who pulled the trigger. They say Aguilad and accomplices Julian De Herrera and Dylan Vieral arrived at the 7-Eleven intending to rob the store. All three men are charged with armed robbery and murder and are being held on a $10 million bond. A new homicide case may be developing here in the Albuquerque area. Bernalillo County Sheriff's Detectives and CSI Specialists are out of sight on Pajarito Mesa, southwest of the city, where human bones were found today. The area has been cordoned off while the experts try to get a read on the situation. For now, no other information is being released. Join us for more news tonight at 10.